En quoi est Please, Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. Um. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The floor is once again given to the prosecution to continue putting la parole to the est rendue expert. à l'accusation qui pourra continuer à interroger l'expert. L'accusation. Bonjour, bon après-midi à tous. Bon après-midi, M. Short. J'espère que vous êtes gonflé à bloc. Nous allons examiner différentes questions cet après-midi. Et again, I'm going to continue following the general structure. Je vais continuer à suivre le fil et la chronologie de votre livre. Nous avons discuté du fait que les citadins étaient perçus comme de la vermine et on a parlé du pilonnage de Phnom Penh. This was touched upon yesterday, so I'm going to try and Passons be selective. Un autre point at qui page 255, hier, uh, where you describe the uh, evacuation, the fall of Udong and, and, and its evacuation. La chute et l'évacuation d'Udong. Again, the event was discussed in in, in some details. Ces événements so I'll ask you about one particular aspect, which I don't think you've commented de on. Je vais aborder um, un point sur lequel vous n'avez encore rien dit, je pense. En anglais, 0096 396 455 et en français, 0096 789 la I looked at the more detailed notes that you've, that you've provided to us la note plus uh, for que this page, 255, they indicate um, that your, your sources include interviews with P. Pourn, um, des interviews avec P. Pourn, a book, I believe, authored by uh, uh, Dirk, and Dirk, conversations pense, with villagers in the area in 2001, as well as a document that you uh, abbreviate as RC. Que vous avez abrégé May en RC, 11, 1974. daté du 11 mai 1974. So Voici ma question. Est-ce qu'effectivement, telles sont les sources principales sur lesquelles vous vous êtes appuyé pour décrire ces événements Yes, that is correct. Um, the interviews with people and uh, les the conversations with villagers, les conversations avec les villageois, uh, they were two uh, major sources. Ont été the written deux sources principales. Are, uh, les écrites, RC is Reality Cambodian, RC, the weekly cela veut dire réalité cambodienne, newspaper, weekly journal, and Diak is a, Diak is a book Diak by an American est un livre écrit par un historien de l'armée américaine. Thank you. Qui s'appelle Diak. You, um, Question. Villages, um, Quand vous avez discuté avec ces villageois, étaient-ce des gens qui avaient vu personnellement ces événements ou bien qui les yes. décrivaient pour vous Réponse oui. Can I also ask you Question. if you recall how many people you spoke to about this particular Avec event? Combien Talking de about personnes the local, locally based people, if, if, if you recall. De cette région, avez-vous parlé de ces événements, si vous vous en souvenez? I would find it difficult to answer that because I talked to a number of villagers about different topics. Some of them referred to this, some of them didn't. I certainly one or two spoke specifically about Udong, whether there were more. I can't remember. Thank you. In that passage, you indicate that officials and uniformed soldiers were separated from the rest, led away, and killed. 
que um, les fonctionnaires et les soldats en uniforme ont été séparés des autres, conduits à l'écart et tués. Consistent with policies and lines Selon vous, est-ce que before? ceci is it, is it a, a, correspond aux politiques et lignes dont nous avons parlé, ou bien est-ce quelque chose d'inhabituel Ceci correspond à ce qui avait commencé à se passer auparavant. Cela cadre aussi avec ce qui s'est produit par la suite. Thank you. Question Nous reviendrons peut-être à Udong, to, um, mais pour l'instant, passons à la with réunion dont vous avez parlé hier avec les juges, 1974, la réunion uh, central committee meeting, du comité central you, you de 74, qui d'après vous, je pense, se déroulait à Miak. Et bien sûr, là, vous décrivez vous avez décrit trois importantes décisions prises à cette occasion. Vous avez qualifié ces décisions de cruciales. Première question. Selon vos notes, apparemment, Pipon est une source d'informations concernant la réunion. Vous êtes-vous aussi appuyé sur d'autres sources pour décrire cette réunion Et j'aimerais préciser que je pense aux autres sources autres que les aveux. Ma recollection est que cette réunion a été décrite uniquement par Pipun. Quant à savoir si vos notes sont d'autres sources, vous pouvez vérifier, je peux le faire aussi, mais je me souviens que Pipun était la source principale. Je vous remercie. Merci. 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 À présent, j'aimerais vous présenter l'un des documents dont nous vous avons envoyé un exemplaire. Document E3-11. Il s'agit d'un numéro de l'étendard révolutionnaire datant du mois de septembre 1977. Monsieur le Président, si vous m'y autorisez, je dispose d'un exemplaire contenant l'extrait pertinent. C'est un des documents que nous avons fait parvenir à l'expert après avoir reçu l'autorisation de la Chambre. Le Président, je vous en prie, allez-y, monsieur d'audience, veuillez aller chercher ce document et le remettre à l'expert. L'accusation, avant de donner lecture de cet extrait, vous vous êtes ou vous ne l'avez pas, vous êtes probablement aware, parce que nous avons envoyé une copie de. A part of the transcript of Pipon's testimony nous vous before avons this court. envoyé uh, une partie de la déposition de Pipon, um, dont Miyak, vous savez probablement qu'il uh, a parlé he, um, de cette réunion du comité central, qu'il place au mois de juin um, ou de juillet 1974 à Miyak. D'après lui, c'était plutôt um, le mois de juin. Et la raison pour laquelle je vous montre ce document, c'est parce qu'il est question de réunion et j'aimerais voir si cela nous permet de mieux comprendre si nous parlons des mêmes événements. En Khmer 00 63 162 page 36 de votre exemplaire et en français 492-836. Je vais citer. C'est au milieu de la page. C'était dans ce contexte précis qu'au congrès du mois de juin 1974, le comité central a décidé de mener à tout prix une attaque finale pour libérer Phnom Penh et tout le pays. Si vous n'êtes pas sûr de ça, et plutôt que vous ne spéculez pas, 
Is it possible? With, is, is it is it the same event based so on your research, or, or um, du même are, are they two different? Ou bien s'agit-il de réunions différentes? Si vous n'en êtes pas sûr, this il est inutile de formuler des conjectures. C'est probablement le même événement. Lorsque les sources sont orales, clearly, certaines personnes uh, se souviennent bien d'un événement, the, the wrong. mais se trompent dans uh, la date. They can also conflate les gens events, peuvent but également they, they, that amalgamer here. différents no, événements, mais ce n'est pas I le cas ici. Missed, uh, this in when Je n'ai pas lu cette référence dans la Révolution Flag quand j'ai écrit le livre. C'est juin 1974. Uh, ce document d'époque uh, m'a échappé. C'est un document de juin 1974. Et Thank pour you. la chronologie, ces documents sont toujours plus fiables que les Now, souvenirs course, des individus. Question. Parmi les trois importantes was, décisions que um, vous avez décrites, what you say was a unanimous figurait decision une décision que vous qualifiez d'unanime, selon laquelle Phnom Penh et toutes les autres villes du Cambodge devraient être évacuées dès leur libération. And, and you've, you've dealt with that, so I'm going to. Uh, vous en avez I want to ask you parlé. questions on that unless you wish to expand. Je vais vous um, poser des questions à moins que to deal vous ne vouliez apporter vous-même un complément d'information pour ce qui est de la décision d'exécuter un membre du comité uh, central Prasit. du nom de Prasit. Now you make the point that he is not the first CPK cadre qu'il n'est pas le premier cadre du PCK à avoir Tamok été éliminé. Vous dites que Tamok avait aussi déjà fait éliminer des responsables de rang inférieur. Ensuite, 16. à la page 260, voici ce que vous écrivez. And I will give the ERNs for that page in a moment. Uh, this is 0039468 in English and 0039791 in English. 0091 as you describe it, of, if, if it is significant, of um, this being a decision in relation to a, de a, 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 a member or reaching the ranks of the Central Committee and being a decision about a, a senior member. De haut rang qui au central du PCK. I think, in fact, we touched on this yesterday. Je pense uh, en I think it was hier. extremely important. Je pense que um, extrêmement important. It, 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 in, in any communist system, Dans tout système, uh, communist communiste ou parti communiste, the decision to start purging la décision the de lancer des purges au sein de l'appareil de direction constitue un point de basculement. Union, ça s'est produit en Union soviétique, uh, ça s'est produit en Chine uh, à un stade and très précoce case was et le cas de Prasit a été le premier au Cambodge. Une fois que vous que vous admettez que des contre-révolutionnaires peuvent s'infiltrer dans l'appareil de direction, cela veut dire que vous ouvrez la porte à des purges indéfinies. Ça a été la première étape et elle a été très importante. Question. Pour qu'aucun doute ne subsiste, c'est donc a, a une decision, décision a decision by, collective uh, qui a été level, acceptée that, that par les participants, n'est-ce pas That is my understanding, and it est is que je comprends les choses. It, it was discussed, et c'est ce qui a été déduit. Il y a eu une discussion, One et après cela s'est produit. On peut en conclure qu'il y a eu accord Thank dans you. ce sens. Now I said we were going to return to uh, Merci. Udong J'ai dit que nous reviendrions très brièvement uh, sur la question d'Udong. J'ai une autre pièce à vous présenter. C'est l'un des numéros de l'étendard uh, révolutionnaire que nous avons envoyé. Il date de décembre 1976 et janvier 1977. Monsieur le Président, c'est le document E3-25. Uh, 
And as I said, it's, it's a document Comme that we sent dit, a copy of nous en avons to Mr. Short. With your permission, I'll, Short. I'll give him a, a copy with the specific extract. Lui un exemplaire contenant l'extrait qui m'intéresse? Le Président, yes, vous y êtes autorisé, Monsieur l'audience, veuillez aller chercher le document et le remettre à l'expert. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Now, looking at this document, Mr. Short, the English translation has the, the, the passage I'm interested in at page 31. La page we've just given you that page. De la version anglaise um, qui m'intéresse. The ERNs are in Khmer 00 630 French 00 504 0049 et en anglais 0491 424 Ce passage porte sur des mouvements de population ayant lieu avant avril 75. Je vais citer. Et il commence avec une quote attacking the enemy politically, taking just one example, fighting to seize the people. Throughout the world, they never fought to seize the people. Our line was to fight to seize the people. One, we took them. Two, we took them. One hundred, we took them. One thousand, we took them. And so on, until we fought for and seized the people from Phnom Penh too. This then goes on to describe a number of examples, Ensuite, the first exemples. being Banam in 1973, Banam, Banam Town, where it says that they expelled the ethnic Vietnamese, Ici, the ethnic Chinese, the military souche, police, and souche, everyone else. Soldats, then there's another example in relation to expulsé, the Chenla II uh, battle. Exemple, la bataille de Chenla II. And then after that, we have Ensuite, also the example of Wudong, where people were pulled out. Wudong, la population a été expulsée. Are you familiar with this uh, phrase that this revolutionary flag is referring to? L'expression utilisée the ici, seizing the people. Yes, I am, Réponse. and uh, it, it really means simply oui. controlling the population. You don't have to control territory, you have to control people. De la population. Il ne faut pas and they say, you've you just read, Comme vous throughout the world lu, they never fought to seize the people. Dans le monde entier, uh, well, ne battu pour that is exactly la what Or, the Chinese communist tactics were all through the Chinese revolution, so it was hardly something that the Khmer Rouge discovered. Donc, euh, ce n'est pas une invention des Khmer Rouges. When I was in that first passage that I read, they seem to describe a series of these events of seizing the people, culminating in Phnom Penh and seizing the people from Phnom Penh. Um, is, is there any relationship? Is there a continuum, bet continuum between these events as far as uh, party practice or policy or line that was being implemented? Du parti. I would hésiter à lire trop de choses sur ça. Je pense que vous trouvez souvent dans des documents de ce genre que pour expliquer ce qu'ils essayent de faire, ils décrivent une succession d'événements, d'abord un, puis deux, puis trois, puis ainsi de suite. Ils prennent une succession d'événements. Vous avez dit hier que, et je pense que c'est dans votre livre aussi, que Wudong vous avez dit hier, et c'est aussi dans votre livre, Koudon était considéré comme un bon exemple pour ce qui est de la prise ou de l'évacuation de la population. Est-ce que je pousse trop loin mon interprétation si je dis qu'il s'agissait là d'un élément précurseur, annonciateur de ce qui arriverait en avril 75 I said was my principal dit, source uh, for that, uh, was very um, 
very adamant, very convinced that it was the success in his terms of what happened at Udo, uh, which convinced the leadership that this was the way they should go with Nampin. Um, and the time sequence, you know, early 1974, uh, and then uh, the meeting at Nyak, where the final decision is taken, at least is consonant with that interpretation. Thank you. Now we're going to move through the rest of pre-evacuation Question. rapidly, I hope. Um, there is one event from 1974 sur les uh, which follows the evacuation of Udon that I wish to take you to page 261 of your book, English ERN 00396 in French 00639792. You're, you're describing it, a trip to China un voyage en by Chine Q Sampan. Effectué par Q Sampan. And you say the following. Voici ce que vous écrivez. Q Sampan went to China Q to meet Mao, the Chine first Cambodian Mao. communist to do so since Khmer in 1952, depuis la visite de and then set out with Sihanouk on a two-month-long tour of Grand Allies in Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe. The aim was not merely to build support for the future Khmer Rouge regime, but more importantly to ensure that the Prince's commitment did not waver. Can I ask you to expand on, on how you reached that particular conclusion that the aim of this trip in part was to ensure that the Prince didn't waver? Un des objectifs était de veiller à ce que Le prince ne I think it's a continuation of what we were talking about earlier, this balance, de ce, de ce dont nous parlions, which they, nous parlions was clearly in all their minds when they brought Sihanouk back in 1973 to visit the liberated areas. Ont uh, on, on the one hand, keep his support, part, on the other hand, don't let him acquire too much popularity. And in 1974, en 74, uh, yes, they, they still very much needed Sihanouk as uh, de an international um, image for their movement. En tant and que, uh, image the, the de trip to Africa, through Africa and, and Asia was en et en Asie, yeah, partly to, to, to win more support, to convey their message to other countries, but uh, more, more than aux anything pays. else to um, keep Sihanouk tied to the movement. Now, if you're going to say, where do I draw that conclusion from? <laughs> I basically have to tell you that's my interpretation of what it was about. It's consistent with what went before and what went after, and to me that is the explanation. That's helpful, thank you. Um, during that trip, uh, we have documents uh, that um, report parts of that trip on, on the case file. Uh, I'm not going to be giving you this exhibit sur in the interest of time, and it's, um, voyage, again, I don't wish to move to other topics, temps, but um, a document that is on the case file, number 12.7, this is a 12 nouvelle du Cambodge Cambodge Information Agency broadcast from the 11th of April 1974, uh, reports a speech by Q. Sampan that he gave uh, during his uh, stay in North Korea on the 10th of April 1974, in which he uh, essentially said that the, the, the uh, forces, forces were making significant advancements, or forces of the front, I should say, front and that um, they had liberated Udon. Uh, I just want to uh, ask you whether you're aware of that, of that particular speech uh, in the context of, these, of this trip. De ce discours prononcé à l'occasion de ce voyage. I don't think Je so. No, that, that didn't cross my screen. Je ne pense pas. That's fair. Thank non. you. Uh, as we move pas forward de into early Avançons 1975 le temps pour arriver and au début de l'année 75. The uh, actual preparations for and and the evacuation itself. Et aux préparations. I want to ask you a few questions actually. De uh, ainsi que sa mise en about the the events of the 17th of April. Des questions I'll, I'll sur les événements. Some of the preparation questions. 17 avril et des jours suivants. Je vais faire l'impasse sur la question des préparations. Looking at your, faute de temps. at your book now at 
Je vous renvoie à votre livre. Page 269 et 70. You're describing the vous y parlez entry into Phnom Penh de l'entrée dans Phnom Penh, uh, l'entrée des forces Khmer Rouge, je donne Khmer les ERN ERN en Khmer. Excusez-moi, il n'y a pas de Khmer, donc en anglais, 00, 396, 477 et 78, et en français, 00, 639, 802 et 803. Il y a plusieurs points qui m'intéressent. En bas de la page 269, il y a un passage qui m'intéresse. Vous avez parlé hier de ceux qui avaient voté avec leurs pieds. Vous avez dit ici que maintenant, ils étaient des prisonniers de la guerre. Et tout ce qu'ils possédaient était un butin de guerre légitime. Division commanders from the southwest, the east, the special zone, and the north had ordered their troops not to loot or to kill unless they met with with resistance. Can I ask you there if you have been able to research this this aspect of the attack? The degree to which these orders were coordinated, that they were issued, you seem to be suggesting to different zones by various commanders. Are you able to enlighten us on that further? Qu'en est-il des ordres qui ont été donnés par des commandants de divisions de diverses régions Toutes les descriptions de l'évacuation de Phnom Penh et toutes les autres sources semblent concorder pour dire que les différentes zones disposaient de pas mal de marge de manœuvre dans la mise en œuvre de l'évacuation. Les soldats de la zone est, par exemple, avaient tendance à être plus souple que celui sud-ouest, par exemple, qui relevait de Tamarque. Et ça a été un schéma qui s'est reproduit pendant tout le régime, en fonction des zones, des politiques, en fonction des cadres inférieurs, les choses changeaient. Même chose pour les chefs de village et les chefs de coopératives. Il y avait une grande variété. At page 275, the upper half of that page, English ERN 00396483 and French 00639810. The actions of the different zone forces. You say the following quote, but it was a difference of style, not of policy. Once the evacuation order had been passed down, eastern zone units, like everyone else, ensured that the areas under their control were emptied of inhabitants. Is that right? That despite the variations, everybody implemented the order. Est-il vrai que, euh, malgré les différences de mise en œuvre, tout le monde a respecté et appliqué cet ordre The policy was the same, the implementation uh, was different. So, yes, it happened everywhere, but with very significant differences in how it was carried out. Another aspect of the evacuation that you describe in your book is the killings of Ronald uh, regime officials. And you describe this in relation to a number of areas. So I'm going to start with, with Phnom Penh. At page 271, and I'll give the ERNs, English 00396479, French 00639804-5, You say the following, quote, at the Hotel Monorom, a few blocks south of the railway station, where the deputy front commander Khoi Tun established his headquarters, a committee for wiping out enemies was set up. Its first action was to approve the execution of Prime Minister Long Bure, Long Nong, 
and other senior Republicans who were taken out and killed in the grounds of the Cercle Sportif, not far from the Information Ministry where they had been detained. Can I ask you first whether you've been able to ascertain in your research who established this committee? I'm afraid not. Do you uh, have information as to who was in that committee? You describe it as being based near Poitoun's headquarters. Do you have any further information as to who was in it? Or is this as far as we, we go in that particular fact? Uh, no, there are. I mean, there are areas f non. which there is no documentation about, and nobody who was privy has spoken, at least not to me. Can I read another passage to you, which relates to people, Question. evacuees from Phnom Penh, and the treatment of one all officials? This is at page 273. Page 273. The relevant yeah, the relevant ERNs here are. 00396481 in English and 00639807 in French. And this is the particular passage that is of interest. This is evacuees from Phnom Penh. When the column reached the northern zone checkpoint at the village of Prek Nu, Army and police officers from second lieutenant up and government functionaries were asked to come forward and identify themselves. They were informed that they would be taken back to Phnom Penh to help Ankar reorganize the city. That was indeed the destination of the most senior among them, including the former premier, Hang Thun Hak, and another ex-minister, Pan Soti. Both men were taken to Khoi Tun's headquarters at the Hotel Monorom and then killed. The rest were simply led across the rice paddies into nearby scrubland and bludgeoned to death. That's a rather gruesome account, but my, my, my question is, do I understand correctly that we discussed the committee at Khoi, Tun, Khoi Tun's headquarters and now this second group being sent? Are the two related in any way, as far as you've been able to ascertain? The decision to, to send back Hang Tong Hak and Pan Satir was certainly uh, laid down from the highest level, no, no question. The decision, likewise, to kill officers and officials above a certain level, uh, I think one may assume had, had was on the basis of a central instruction but would be implemented, the exact level and who was killed uh, would be decided by, by the zones. However, uh, I, mean, I think it's worth, worth adding that you know, there was an awful lot of latitude for the people who were actually doing this. And I don't want to go in get in advance of myself, but I, I, I'm struck by the interview I did with a perfectly ordinary soldier who was one of a group who were searching houses in Phnom Penh afterwards, and they'd been told to go around and make sure that there was no one hiding, and they found various old people uh, who had been left behind by their families and were still in flats. What did you do with them? We killed them. Did you have instructions? No. Uh, what else were we to do? You know, the, 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 the climate, uh, the mindset was that such people you killed. You do describe a degree of variation on the, on the page that precedes the one we just looked at. Um, I may need to correct myself. Rather, this is at page 277, and the ERNs there are in English 00396485, in French 00639812-3, that's just for the record. Uh, you, you do describe there the killings in, I believe, Batambang and Peilin, and you describe a degree of... of um, 
a variation. Um, based on your research, nevertheless, in areas at least that you've considered, uh, was there killings of, of people from the former regime from a certain level up, or was there, was there a particular consistency um, that, that you've been able to infer based on what you said was a, must have been a central, centrally devised decision? Une cohérence euh, euh, dans cette façon de trier euh, ceux de l'ancien régime. Euh, There was a pattern all over the country of killing former Lon Lon officers, il y avait donc, euh, uh, whatever their level, and les uh, of killing uh, de, officials, de former Lon Lon government officials, above a certain level. I think in the, in the case of the officers, the military men, it was much more systematic. Uh, for the civil servants, there are very large numbers of cases where individuals either escape the net or escape the net for a period of time uh, or for one reason or another were able to get through the whole Khmer Rouge period having been quite highly placed. So it was not, if it was systematic, there were gaps in the system. And just on that, uh, page 275, you deal with the issue of the death toll and you look at other uh, events in other countries where, where there was large death toll, this is uh, English ERN 00396483 and French 00639810811. Just a brief passage there. Quote, You've this, you had described the example of France in the months following German retreat, and then you say, quote, but in France, the killings, the forced suicides, the shaming of women who had shared their beds with the enemy were the work of individuals acting alone or in mobs. In Cambodia, it was the result of a deliberate policy decision taken by the country's highest authorities, Pol and the CPK Standing Committee. Do you still stand by that conclusion? Yes, I do, and I'm glad you raised this because yesterday uh, Judge Laverne um, asked me whether there was anything that I wished I had not written as I wrote. And indeed, the estimate I gave for the number of dead in the killings uh, after the Second World War in France uh, was inflated. It is in some French sources, but I said 100,000. I think it was nearer 10,000. Uh, it's a minimal relevance to the court, but that is the belated answer to Judge Laverne's question. Another aspect of, of um, similarities and, and this issue of variation uh, that you deal with in the book deals with uh, actual force movement of, of people. This is at 276 to 277, English ERN 00396484 to 5. And and French 00639811 to 2. Here you're describing the events in the following days, April 18 and following, with Son Sen being in the city. And you describe how he one of his first acts was to summon the division commanders from all the four zones to delineate clear, limit, clear limits for each sector. And then, a little bit further down the page, you say the following, quote, new guidelines were issued, were also issued, to harmonize the evacuation procedures in different parts of the city. No longer could people choose for themselves which road to take. Those in the north went north, up Highway 5, even if their home villages lay in a quite different direction. Those in the west were marched along Highways 3 or 4 towards Kampot 
or Pampong Spiu, those in the south towards Tekel or Sverien. The entreaties of husbands and wives or parents and children who happened to find themselves in different parts of the city were ignored. They went the same way as everyone else in their sector. Searches were stepped up for those trying to stay behind. The old and bad bedridden were simply killed. Similar scenes with local variations occurred all over Cambodia. Quite a few important facts there. Um, but if I can start with what you seem to be describing as a harmonization uh, attempt to uh, have a more systematic um, procedure. If, if I got that right, that, that from this point onwards, the, the, a decision was made centrally and then implemented to move people in different directions depending on where they were, if that is the search that you've been able to ascertain. Yes, one of the problems was that the different zone commanders had never actually worked together before because their zones had been separate, they had been a law unto themselves, and when they all came together in, in Phnom Penh, uh, they butted up against each other, their troops. So rules had to be laid down pretty quickly uh, how they should cooperate and it was the first time they'd had to do that. Uh, you can see that it's certainly the beginning of a harmonization uh, and the be yes, the beginning of a, of a, 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 a unification of the policy towards those being evacuated. Now, one uh, fact you discussed yesterday, and you discussed the reasons for the evacuation, so I will not go there. But you, you discussed the issue, I believe, of people being told not to take a lot of possessions with them. I want to just touch on that briefly. At the bottom of page 287, in, in your copy, Mr. Short, and English ERNs 00396495 and French 00639825-6, you describe the, 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 the condition of the deportees and you say the following, most of the deportees had reached the countryside empty-handed, Q. Sampan explained, adding with evident satisfaction Quote, the few belongings they were able to carry with them will be worn out within two or three years. I, I'm, I'm, my copy is not clear on this, so perhaps you, you, you will correct me. I'll just finish reading the rest and then you can correct that passage. Indeed, it had been to limit the amount they could carry with them that people had been ordered to leave at such short notice in the first place. But in all public pronouncements, these strategic aims were passed over in silence. So my, my question is, first, if you can perhaps read for us that passage. Um, in my copy, the words are completely unclear. Um, and then if you can tell us whether that statement that is attributed to Kisan Pan reflects the, the policy or the line that, was, that you discussed yesterday about telling people not to take a lot of possessions with them. Yes, the relevant uh, portion reads, uh, most of the deportees had reached the countryside empty-handed, Kusan Pan explained, adding with evident satisfaction, the few belongings they were able to carry with them will be worn out or used up within two or three years. Uh, yes, that was the logic of it, that if you took very little with you, um, it would be worn out, and then uh, you, you would have the same as everybody else. Th this was uh, part of the, uh, the program to separate people from their belongings so that everybody became equal because if everybody has nothing of, 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 the, of, the, of their own possession, then they are all the same. Um, and indeed, very short notice to leave, they couldn't take that much with, with them anyway. So it's all completely consistent. You then continue on in the, in the next passage. 
quote, thus the new regime began with a lie and lying would remain one of its defining characteristics. After April 1975, nothing the Cambodian leaders said could ever be taken at face value. They lied to hide unpleasant truths. They lied because they could not be bothered to remember what, they had, what had really happened. They lied by mistake, by accident, out of laziness, or for no discernible reason at all. The lie became an instrument of rule, enveloping policy in a miasma of uncertainty, secrecy, and dissimulation. Can I ask you to expand on that conclusion as to the regime's lies? en dire plus sur cette conclusion concernant les mensonges du régime. It's a very harsh judgment, but I stand by it. Uh, it. It was a deliberate decision, uh, quite consciously, uh, to portray the world of democratic Campuchia other than it, as it really was. And there are innumerable examples. When Pol Pot went to Beijing, went to China uh, for his first official visit, and he gave a long speech about democratic Campuchia, uh, he said, I remember, uh, I was there when he gave it, uh, when, he, when it was broadcast, uh, everyone in Campuchia has 312 kilograms of rice per person per year. Uh, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, lies, the as I said, you know, sometimes there was a reason, sometimes the reason was simply not comprehensible, but lies were in the very fabric of everything the regime did. Thank you. I'm now going to actually move on to uh, the, the, the policies as they um, existed post immediate, the immediate event of the evacuation. And as an entry point to this, I, I look at page 280 here, and the relevant ERNs are in, in English 00396488. In French, 00639817. And you say the following The evacuation of Cambodia's towns and its immediate consequences, the relocation of the entire population to the countryside, the killing of former opponents, the reform or elimination of all regarded as potentially hostile were an almost perfect paradigm for the three years, eight months and 20 days of Khmer Rouge rule that followed. That most city dwellers were taken completely by surprise merely showed how little attention they and the outside world had paid to the Khmer Rouge and their methods during the, their long years in the wilderness. What happened in mid-April 1975 was the fruit of policies that had been in gestation since the 1960s and had their origins in a still earlier time. So there are two slightly distinct points being made there. But can I ask you first to elaborate for us, if you could, on this, on this idea of the evacuation itself and its immediate consequences being a, an almost perfect paradigm for the rest of what followed. Well, I think, I think the basis of that thought is that um, is the ruthlessness and single-mindedness and the lack of concern for human values, for human suffering, for individual values that was shown during the evacuation. Uh, later on, uh, in the collectives, um, exactly the same attitude prevailed. What, what, what the Khmer Rouge wished to do was to achieve a, a given goal, whether it's the removal of millions of city dwellers to the countryside, uh, the creation of agricultural cooperatives, collectives, which are capable of producing a particular uh, level of rice yield, uh, the building of irrigation works. In everything, the same approach 
and in many cases the same finalities, that is large numbers of dead along the way, uh, were how those uh, programs were characterized. And you find all that in the very first step, which was the evacuation of the cities. And if I can bookend this, 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 this concept um, with another quote and see whether this is, is also relevant, this is now at page 399, which is at the very end of your uh, description of the uh, toppling, the fall of the regime and the, and the um, escape from Phnom Penh of uh, leadership, uh, including Pol Pot, Nunchia, uh, Pot, etc. Pen, uh, and this is the part I was interested in, English ERN. Zero zero three nine six six zero seven and French zero zero six three nine nine seven six and it's the following passage that I'm interested in. Quote Khmer Rouge policy right up to the last hours remained wholly consistent with everything that had gone before. The priority accorded to getting Sihanouk to safety, to protecting Pol and the other leaders, was merely the practical application of the principle expounded by Nguyen Chia months before. If we lose members but retain the leadership, we can continue to win. The corollary that ordinary people were expendable had been Khmer Rouge practice ever since the evacuation of Phnom Penh in April 75. Am I correct in reading those two passages together and understanding them to be describing the same conclusion? Yes. The, the, the key line is ordinary people are expendable. But I would point out, uh, following from what we discussed earlier, where uh, we talked about the need to seize the people, to remove the people from the control of the enemy and have the control of themselves for the Khmer Rouge, the, those are in total contradiction. <laughs> there were times, most notably when they were struggling for power in 73, 74, when they understood that they needed the people with them. For reasons which are very difficult to understand, the moment they were in a position to actually gain power and they had power, they lost interest in retaining the people. The people became expendable. They got what they wanted and people were, were no longer the concern in the same way as, as they had been earlier. And if I can pick up the other part of the first quote that we read in relation to the events of mid-April 75 being the fruit of policies that had been in gestation since the early since the 1960s. Can I ask you to expand on that? Is that similar to what we were discussing this morning, the gradual incremental development of policy? Yes, I, I th there, there are the two strands. Um, we talked earlier about the Isarak strand and the uh, return student strand. Uh, when I said it, the origins were even earlier, I was thinking of the Isarak. Uh, there are distinct similarities in, in the way the Isarak operated and the way the Khmer Rouge operated. Um, and indeed, they have many of the same leaders. And then from the 1960s, the returned students uh, who had taken power in the party brought their ideas, and this incremental process, which we've discussed, continues. Thank you. You've uh, discussed already, I, I believe, this concept of a first modern slave state, and that appears in a number of places in the book. And I just wish to read one, one part, because I'm interested in the concept of a, of a slave state, uh, a, a, a single entity, if you like. Um, this is at page 291, and the relevant ERNs are in English. 00396499, French 00639831. And in elaborating this concept of the slave state, you say the following second half of the page. Like true slaves, the inhabitants of Pol's Cambodia were deprived of all control over their own destinies 
and able to decide what to eat, when to sleep, where to live or even whom to marry. And, and that part you've already explained for us. A little bit further down though, you say also this. It is also true that the way the new system was interpreted varied hugely from zone to zone, region to region, and even village to village. In some areas, cadre were lenient, in others, harsh. But in both cases, the people, the slaves, had no say in the matter. They merely endured whatever degree of leniency or harshness the upper levels decided to met out. So can I ask you to, to expand on that? Because you are using the term slave state as a, as a as a single entity, and then of course with in, in variations within it, um, but you do seem to be describing, if I have you correctly, a system that in a way emanates from the top, and if I have that wrong, uh, I'll ask you to correct me. It did emanate from the top. It could only have emanated from the top because uh, the, the underlying principles were the same everywhere. Everyone, um, the overwhelming majority, because there was always a tiny uh, group who were exceptions for one reason or another. Um, the leaders, those high up in the party, certain very privileged workers uh, had a greater degree of freedom and so on. But the really 99% of the population, the overwhelming uh, mass, were all uh, slaves in the sense that they had no choice over any aspect of their, of their lives. Now, uh, if everyone is a slave, yes, some may have good masters who are a little bit uh, more, more kind, some may have particularly harsh masters, and that corresponded to the leaderships in the different collectives. You, it, it wasn't zone by zone or even region by region. You could have uh, villages, collectives five kilometers apart in the same uh, zone, the same region, where conditions were very, very different. It, it really did uh, stem from uh, uh, individual leaders, but uh, what, whether the leaders were lenient or harsh, the fundamentals, the existence of slaves, were the same. Thank you. Now, looking into question, what you describe as as. The, the approach to the economy, um, which of course is, is a part of this, these, these policies that we're discussing, and this is at, parlons, donne, the passages start at page 293, page, page and then they continue on page 294. The, the relevant ERN's English 00396501. French 00639833-835. You say the following, quote, the first step, the destruction of the feudal elite, which for centuries, in the revolutionaries' view, had exploited the country for its own ends, had been accomplished by the communist victory and evacuation of the towns. The second and third step, to build and defend impulse phrase, meant mobilizing the entire nation to develop at breakneck speed in order to prevent Cambodia's sempiternal enemies, Thailand and Vietnam, from taking advantage of its enfeebled states. This last consideration was crucial. And then just over the page, there is a quote that begins with the following first your introduction and then the quote, which I think is attributed to Pol Pot. The economy was just another battlefield to be conquered by brute force. And then the quote, how must we organize our action? It is the same as in war. There we raise the principle of attacking wherever the enemy was weak. The same goes for the economy. We attack wherever the opportunities are greatest. We must prepare offensives for the whole country. We learn from the war. If the command was strong, we would win. If the command was not strong, we would not win. The same goes for building up the economy. Can I ask you to expand on that 
Pourriez-vous apporter un complément d'explication Vous décrivez ce qui semble être une très militante avec l'utilisation de la force dans le domaine économique. I'm not sure how much I can elaborate. Je ne sais pas dans quelle mesure je peux apporter des explications. In the early stages of the Soviet Union, with war communism, there was a not a similar approach, but 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 there was When a country, a communist regime, feels itself under intense external pressure, and there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under intense external pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight itself under very strong pressure. And there's no doubt that democratic campaigners did fight it
Suivante, a brief quote. Were it not for the organization of the cooperatives, Campuchia would have had to suffer all the consequences of the situation in Vietnam, Vietnam, including respecting the 1973 Paris Agreement between Vietnam and America. De Paris, de Paris Is that reflective at all of, of this concern that, that, that we've been discussing about Vietnam? I think the first part certainly is, is reflective, uh, re reflects the concern about Vietnam. Um, the fact Vietnam. that they, they conquered Phnom Penh before uh, Phnom Penh the Vietnamese got Saigon put them in a sense ahead, and yes, as you said, they had to keep running. That, that reflects the dit, paranoia about Vietnam. Um, the second bit about the 1973 accord, avec les accords de 73, the Americans, um, Kissinger and, Americans, and others, Kissinger uh, tried to push the Vietnamese very hard to get the Cambodians to sign off on those accords. They, they refused to do so. I don't think it was because of the cooperatives. It was because they had enough military strength to carry on without, um, uh, well, carry on by themselves to carry on the war against Lon Nol, uh, regardless of what happened in Vietnam. Contre Nol, quelle que soit l'évolution de la situation au Vietnam. Thank you, the prosecutor and the expert. The time is now appropriate for a short break. We will take a 20 minute break and return at 3 p.m. Court officer, could you assist the expert during the break? Veuillez apporter votre assistance à l'expert pendant la pause et le ramener dans le prétoire pour la reprise de l'audience à 15 heures. The court is now adjourned. Suspension d'audience. Somme, Jane Grantcher.